So Stan Lee Madness continues. He's part of the BAM expansion pack, which we'll put a link below for that, which is a freaking awesome expansion it was, pack. Yeah, it was. Really, really cool. There's an odd story about, you know what, you gotta watch this video. We're not gonna talk about that ever again. Stan, I still love you, but you'll click the link below and you'll understand. Now, of course, he's already got his own subscription box. He's on a bi-monthly subscription, so every two months. He's getting ready to release box number two. I have not watched any of the videos because I'm tempted to check it out for a month. And if we like it, maybe yeah. buy the prior box. We are revamping some of our subscription boxes anyway, so it would be a good time to do that. This is from NerdBlock. Oh, okay. They put these out back in August, I believe, is when they put the special order option out for these. So, of course, at that time, I had no idea Stan was doing his own thing. Super excited. Had a ninja order it. As always, Ninja Dad, Kendra had no <laughs> idea. And they both just showed up, like, days apart from each other. So we've been waiting to do this, but box number two didn't get here till yesterday. So it's February, and it's a dual unboxing with the Stan Lee limited edition crates. I'm Scott. I'm Kendra. Welcome to another Guru Review. So, let's get into it. Now, I know uh, there are limited edition Funko Pops of Stanley, like different variations, and they're super collectible, especially the ones that are signed by Stan himself. They'll go for a thousand, two thousand dollars. Hopefully, limited edition Funko Pops in here. Cool box. It, it, it is a cool Signature, box, yeah. you know, his whole logo icon thing with uh, the mustache and the sunglasses, Spider-Man there. I've been dying for these to show up. Mm -hmm. Just constantly waiting. They gave no clue as to when they were going to release when I ordered them. So August to February. Now I'm wondering if, uh, I guess maybe the theme, sub-theme, will be Spider-Man? Possibly. Yeah. There's a few people that have them that have put reviews up already. Of course, I try not to watch any of that. And of course, because of where we live, we tend to get stuff a little bit later than everybody. But this just showed up yesterday. Yeah. Gosh knows why it didn't ship as earlier than it did. But anything coming from Canada takes its sweet old time yeah. to come down. Has here. to come through customs. Yeah. I'm super excited. Yeah. And I love doing dual unboxings. Yes, yeah, it's always fun. They're always fun. When I saw these shirts, I was like, oh, I have to buy them. Ah, man, Mr. Stanley waits. So here we go. Hoping for goodness. Oh, cool. <gasps> wow. Oh. oh, so it's the, oh goodness. It's that soda thing, yeah. number two. All right, so what do we got? That is neat. Yeah. So this is the second one. Which, yes, the other one was released by Nerd Block. It was uh, the lovely Tina Belcher yep. from Bob's Burgers. And we will include a link below for that. This is really mm. cool. This yeah. is, I thought, here's where we're gonna go next. It's, you got your Funko Pops, you got your Dorbs. Now you're gonna have like the soda people. This looks really, really cool. And I like that. This is one of those things I think I'll actually open it up and keep Stan sitting on my desk. Yeah. You know, he's an icon, an inspiration to all of us, a true geek. We love you, Stan, except for that thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that is really cool. Oh, that's neat. Very cool. It's just one more thing to collect. It's just yeah. crazy, crazy cool, though. And do shirts yeah. next. Of course, shirts. So now that better be the right size, or I'm yeah. driving to Canada. 
Stan Lee, the man, the legend himself, yeah, like right it's there. Like shiny, glittery. Or, enough said. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Very nice. Exclusive. Oh, that's interesting. So now they're putting a suggested retail value of $24.99. Yeah. Actually, I like the cut of uh, the shirt. It's kind of like shorter in the front and longer in the back. Okay, and I see a pin. Oh. Excelsior, friends and fans of stands. That's really cool. I like that. Indeed. Ooh, and, and there's an, another pin. Oh, yeah. Dual pin action. Excelsior. Very cool. So the classic push pin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. That's neat, mm -hmm. all from the Stan Lee collection. Very cool. Looks like we got a ring. Is it a ring? Yeah. Excelsior ring. It has the Stanley font. Yeah, it's neat. It's, it's mm -hmm. felt. It's pretty sharp looking. Oh, wow. Uh, not a big pinky ring guy, <laughs> so that's not happening. It's it too, looks nice just in the box. too loose and yeah. It's like a fat knuckles. It's going to be, yes, I think it will be one of those... Uh, Get a montage together for Stan and maybe have one in the case opened and Oh, that's so cool. So it looks like it's a coin with a comic cell insert. The man definitely has got merchandising. Mm -hmm. He's a smart guy. So yeah, this is a really, mm -hmm. really cool coin. That is really cool. I gotta say that the Spider-Man coin in the Bambox expansion, which is killer. Link below. That one was really cool. I prefer this one personally. Um, no. Yeah, just because I've never seen like the inlay, the comic book inlay like that. And I like that it has this face. It's kind of cool. It's like those old school, like the uh, the coin commercials that they would play at, you know, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning when your insomnia was at its best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so this is something that I'm like really interested in. Ocarina of Doom. It's very cool. And, okay, it, and this is so like comic book, but it's I like know, old right? school yeah. comic book style. I'm yeah. loving this. Now, what the heck's an Ocarina? Oh, it's, a, it's from. Oh, it's Legend some kind of, of blah, blah, blah. Oh, is it the Legend yeah. of Zelda thingy? Really? I actually have one of these, but. And to brace the Ocarina. It work very good. Oh, the Orkin of Time from yeah. Legend of Zelda. That's cool. Definitely works a lot better than the one I have. Alright, let's, let's. So. We're not even gonna bother cleaning them. We're just gonna go right at it. <laughs> he did it better than me. <laughs> my my many years of ocarina lessons have failed me. It's really cool. <laughs> I legit I legitimately have an ocarina and it doesn't play as good as this one because it's like the plastic crappy ones. That is so neat. Cool. Yep, like gonna yeah. have to keep that forever and a day. Yeah. Probably nobody wants it after a bit of my mouth anyway. But this is neat. I like this. That yeah. is cool. Get a hat on. Be like Ferris Bueller. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, like a little, a little letter. card or letter from the legend himself. Welcome to the first ever Friends and Fans of Stands. Congratulations, chosen ones. All hail the wit and wisdom, both divine and mystical, that led you to the Friends and Fans of Stands. Your name and thanks have been officially entered and received into my personal fortress of gratitude and cataloged amongst all my other wonders. From this day onward, walk taller, stand straighter, and rest satisfied in the contentment of a club supremely chosen, surrounded by our near-deficit glory. However, lest you caw too much, remember that with such exalted membership comes responsibility. Take care with your privileges and comport yourself judiciously, always heeding the friends and fans of Stan's code of conduct. Be honest and true to yourself and to others around you. 
Do not mock or shun those that refuse to belong. They deserve our help and pity, not our scorn. Walk amongst the unbelievers with tolerance, for who knows when they will see the light. Finally, remember that you are not alone. You have me, and I have you. And we all have each other. A friend and fan of Stan is a friend and fan to every man. Thus, as beatific chairman for life and ever after, I welcome you to the fold and extol to you to salute the crew. You're part of us now. Excelsior. Yay! Says, hear ye, hear ye. Blank is a founding member and in good standing with the friend and fans of stands and is thus exalted and praised above all other lesser beings. These privileges are non-transferable. Super fan. So that is cool. Uh, so much stuff. I got stuff. This is great. And I'm trying to remember how much this was. It wasn't much. I think it was like $45 or $50 mm -hmm. with shipping. So yeah. really, when you look at what you're getting, especially with everything being exclusive, all with Stanley's branding, I think it's a phenomenal deal. Yeah. And we're not done. Yes, much stuff. Yeah. Ooh. Um, it's a um, journal. Some kind of a journal. Now, mine is sealed. Yeah. So I'm almost tempted to not. Yeah, I can keep it. Okay. It looks like it's got like a caricature yeah, it's got Stan of Stan with a signature. And I'm assuming. Oh, this is a sketchbook. Yep, it's a sketchbook. Oh, that's really cool. Right there. Crazy woman. <laughs> Always cut away. Yeah. Um, so that's yeah, so neat. it's got like a inlay of uh, Stan Lee, and then it's just a blank um, journal. It has like a blue for aspiring artists or yeah. people taking important notes. Very cool. I'm actually going to use this. I have been needing a new sketchbook, and it's it is a sketchbook. It's just regular blank white paper, so this is right. nice. Very cool. Because we get a lot of notebooks with some things, yeah. but this is cool. Sketchbook, Stan Lee. Uh, oh, this is cool. Stan Lee shirt buttons. Kind of interesting. So this is... It's it's almost like the buttons you have when you wear a tuxedo shirt. Mm -hmm. yeah, where they, where they pull yeah. through. Because some shirts actually have regular buttons and then a slot mm -hmm. to have something like this. So you could be walking around... I wonder if family. that's something that he does, maybe. Possibly. Enough said. Yeah, and then the top button, um, it actually has Stanley's face on it. Man, they're just killing it with branding. Yeah. That's actually a really cool idea. I like that. Like, you know, personalizing your button downs or something like that. That's, that's a cool idea. I like that. Very neat. Oh, that's cool. Special. Oh, man, it just doesn't stop. <laughs> I know, this is cool. Wow. Uh, it's uh, The Inhumans, special edition number one, featuring the classic Fantastic Four, number 46, and more, presented by Nerdblock. Really cool. Just, just keeps killing it. Oh, wow. That's really neat. Inspired yes. millions of people. It's actually uh, Fantastic Four, number 46. It is like, you know, the classic Fantastic Four, which is very cool. Um, I read all of these uh, on the Marvel Unlimited app, which is, I think, like $9.99 a month, and you get like a whole, like from the 40s to present day, unlimited reading of Marvel comics. If you don't have it, I really suggest it. It's like the best thing ever. That's cool. Um, so yeah, this is really cool, though. I love classic Fantastic Four. It's neat. Sad face, but it has to come to an end. And this is really, really neat. Yeah, this is This cool. is a cool way to end it. The man himself, the legend, hanging true. Yeah, that's cool, I like it. Like Spidey. Yeah. With the uh, autograph back up in here. It, that's just really neat. Mm -hmm. That's cool, I like that. And... The card. They do have the card, the cheat card, which they put at the bottom. Thank you. 
which really just hits everything. And of course, yes, every single item in this box is exclusive, which makes sense. I, I didn't think it would be otherwise. Mm -hmm. So anything that's here, you're only going to find here. Very cool. And it looks like uh, the variant cover uh, for the Inhumans Special Edition number one is by Chris Anka. That's very cool. You know, final thoughts for me, I mean, it's a Stan Lee exclusive box. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't go wrong. I mean, I'm certain that he had quite a bit of say as to what got branded with him. Hence the lack of condiment containers. Yes, yeah. Really cool. I like everything. I like the soda pops. Mm -hmm. I, I can't. The Orca is probably my favorite piece in the soda. I mean, mm -hmm. always a t-shirt fan, but those, those, that's my thing. Of course, you like the, uh, the coin. Yeah. Uh, I'm a little disappointed that there wasn't any uh, Funko Pop, uh, but you know, it's understandable. I see it's kind of like he's establishing his own, I guess, like line of, of stuff. So I'm guessing, and I haven't looked that it may be in his exclusive subscription box that he has out every other month. Uh, I yeah. saw a quick mm -hmm. peek of what was in box one. I don't think there was one of him, but there was some amazing stuff in there. Uh, something to consider. I mean, the price point was on par, mm -hmm. like forty nine ninety nine with any of the bigger boxes. And it looked, uh, what I saw quickly was like, wow. You know, and uh, curated personally by him. Mm -hmm. He's putting his name yeah. on it even more. Very cool. So yeah, Funko Pop would have been cool, but... Yeah. No, this is definitely really cool. Um, I think, you know, having the comic and everything, it was cool. Um, Stan Lee uh, will be at Megacon this year again uh, in Orlando. I believe that's going to be May 25th to the 28th. Last year was supposedly his, like, last appearance or whatever, so I, like, made this big trip to go get my picture with him. So this year, I'm definitely going to get something autographed by him, uh, personally. So, um... Yeah, who knows? It'd be cool to have him sign like the you know the membership card. I'd love to have you know everybody goes out of the way to to get you know comics, comics signed. It'd be cool to have something to just like carry in your wallet that you can look at every day. You know, maybe just get it laminated or Definitely something. Definitely have to get it laminated. Yeah, I think you know. It would be cool. Be round two for her. Yes. Yeah. I'll be watching you, Stan. <laughs> But I'd love to go, so we may have to do a one-day trip up yeah. there to, to go to MegaCon. I did not go last year, but we're probably going to have to do it because I don't want to miss the opportunity to at least even, you know, say hi to the guy. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. absolutely. So if you haven't gotten a chance, get down to MegaCon when it comes out or if he comes to a... Uh, to a convention near you. Make sure you go see him before he's not going anymore because yeah. that's going to happen sooner or later. Yeah, yeah. So on that note, I want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch. Please like, subscribe, comment, comment below. below, and share with your friends. Until next time, stay weird. Bye.